1622, the Atosha, a Spanish ship, was lost at sea off the Florida Keys, carrying 260 people to their deaths, and with them, a legendary fortune and treasure. Over three centuries later, Mel Fisher led his family on a search for the Atosha. His dream of adventure, glory, and gold would challenge the laws of this country and change their lives forever. This is the story of that quest. Okay, Don, make that light fast. 
in L.A. Are you hiring? Oh, uh, you looking for a job? Well, I got my papers. Dived yeah. off Hawaii, Catalina. Yeah? Good. You play the guitar, too, huh? Uh-huh. Can you play Home in the Rain? Oh. Well, I heard of it, but I play mostly Bill and Beatles. That's okay. all right. Listen, you can play back in the poop deck for the uh, customers. Uh, we don't pay much. Well, that's twice what I've been making. Well, where's the poop deck? This way. Come here. I'm going to show you. <laughs> play Dylan, really? Oh, yeah. So that's Mel Fisher in person. We've read about him. Did he really find the fortune in gold? That's a laugh. Those kids of his were in grade school when he started. Claiming he knows where that Spanish ship went down. Hell of a way to bring up kids. Diving for their crazy old man who's out selling stock in a company that's one step ahead of the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, but what about the museum? He's found stuff, all right, some gold and silver, but lots of junk. Puts it in that floating museum and sells tickets. That's what feeds his wife and kids. But it's not enough to pay for his salvage operation. He calls himself a treasure hunter. I call him a cockeyed dreamer. You'll read about him again. He'll either be rich or dead. Oh, back with his chickens in Indiana. Deep 16 away. Fisher, you're not out of this mess yet. What mess? What do you think it is, Dad? A giant BB. It's a mini mine. Watch out, it'll blow! <laughs> Where'd you get this, Tabby? We were diving yesterday. I didn't think it was anything. Well, you know, those ships that had gold had soldiers. Soldiers had guns. This could be a musket ball from the Atosha. Really? Hey, Dad, let's take it to the bank. Oh, yeah, what a marvelous <laughs> idea. I can hear them now. Well, it's mint condition, but tell me, Mr. Fisher, I mean, diving every day, all you can find is musket balls? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Bank President, we got pieces of eight, we got oh. silver. You should have heard the guy I met last week. Hey! I know you're Mel Fisher's kid, so tell me something. You dive at night? And you said right. And right? he said, with lights? And you said no, no with, with candles and a lot of magic. <laughs> <laughs> what about that dude last year? He said I was disrupting the fish's schedule. He was a little loose in the loafers. Yeah, all the fish were leaving his spot to come and watch us, right? <laughs> they just don't understand. Well, don't be too hard on them, Kim. They think we're dreaming. Someday they'll wake up. Maybe we are just dreaming. Nine ships went down. This could be from any of them. Well, we just keep on looking. Meanwhile, your mother and I are going to walk off whatever it is we just ate. Come on, babe. Hey, we will be on. OK. <sighs> Those CMs are starting to bite already. Except for you, as usual. Fight me and they die. <laughs> and why the hell do you have to say that about those other ships? Because it's true. Ah, who cares? You guys are as bad as everybody else in Key West. Look, Angel. Hey, you were talking about your father, Kim. No. I guess it's just that we've been looking so long. Hey, you guys. Let's not stop talking the way they do about him. So what's it going to be? We're going to help him find that pile? Or do we just sit around and bitch?
We bitch. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that, Dio. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, just think. 348 years and 10 months ago, the Atosha was right out there, right out there in that storm, and the wind was blowing, the sails were ripping apart, and people were crying and praying, and it smashed to pieces right out there somewhere. Right out there. And I'll bet you a hot fudge Sunday. Tomorrow's the day. After 10 years, I'm gonna bet against Mel Fisher. Lady, you're crazy to stick with it. I know, but in what other life could I wake up in the morning and think I might win the World Series, the Super Bowl, and the Indy 500 all in one day? Lady, the man cannot finance a can of beans. I'd dump him. You're right. When you're right, you're right. I should go out and buy me a chicken farm and then just lie in bed at night listening to my arteries harden. <laughs> oh, I love you, chicken. I love you, too, Mel. every once in a while. Of course, it takes a couple of years, but it sure beats doing it by hand. How about that, huh? Yeah, how about that? How about that again, Dad? Yeah, it's a better idea than training those porpoises. <laughs> hey, you guys. What's the matter, what? Angel? What is Something it? Something wrong? What did you see? No, you wait and see what I got. Help me out here. Oh, you guys. The sand blew away. It was just lying there. What? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry, Angel. Oh. I'm sorry to disappoint you, babe, but that is not pure gold. What? No, maybe 23 and a quarter carats. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is the day it is <laughs> Mr. Melvin Fisher? Are you Melvin A. Fisher, doing business as Treasure Salvers Incorporated? I was when I got up this morning, Luther. How long have you known me? How long have you known this was coming, Mel? You signed a contract to give the state 25% of everything you find. I never thought I'd see the day. Mr. Fisher, as you know, the Florida State Department of Reclamation has ruled. Uh, therefore, I hereby inform you that as of this day, your operations will be monitored by Agent Hudley here. Monitored? Dr. Livingston, that is. Say, Dudley? He's a Dudley. He will be on board when you're at sea. He will provide proper accommodations. And when you dock at night, he will inventory your findings. Look who signed it. Is that what you call a spy? Who got to him, Luther? Agent Hudley is now part of your crew. Yeah? What if my captain says no, I say no, and he doesn't put his foot on that boat? What happens? Then you don't sail. Uh-huh. Stand by the cast off, boys. Bell, do you really want to fight the Marine Patrol? You really want to go to war with me, Luther? Come on, Mel. Easy. Just come Dad, on. you go, did sign go. a contract. Yeah, I got rights, too. Hey, Luther, why don't you call the Coast Guard? Come on. Now, the tourists. Better yet, the Navy. Agent Hudley, get aboard and carry out your orders. Yes, sir, Mr. Banks. Hey, Luther. Call the Marines, huh? Cast off. Cast off. You saw it, folks. The bureaucrats. We do the work, and they take it. No games, and I don't get sick. Wait till you try my cooking, pal. Funny, last time I looked, I thought I was in the United States of America. <laughs> Give me home 
where the buffalo roam. Skies are not cloudy all day. Seldom is heard his energy. Didn't say when he'd be back? The usual, when he gets enough money to keep us afloat. Someday he's gonna end up in Alaska, Tess. Can I have some? Honey, that's not enough. Yes, Come it on. is. I know. Uh, she no. drink and be merry, for tomorrow we die. Oh, we die. Oh, Oh. <laughs> well, that's bad. So do you do this often? Only when we want to eat. Huh? <laughs> no, just went off. Mel and Dio run out of funds to pay for troops. Thank you. Welcome. You guys, you know this is the 156th hard times party. Is it really? Yeah. Didn't know you were counting, sweetheart. Oh, oh thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then again, it could be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Penny, did I ever tell you about that time I got in a little skiff and I saw these two big fins right behind one another? Did I tell you about that? Two fins? Yeah. You mean sharks? Yeah, well, no, that's what I thought. But, let's go talk. What I thought they were was this. That happened to Don. Mm, no, don't be mean. He's probably just jealous of you two old married folk. <laughs> anyway, it's a wonderful story. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Hey, you guys see what I see? Why, it's Dudley. Looks like John Wayne to me. John Wayne? Look more like Gabby Hayes to me. Agent Hudley. Yes, ma'am. Come on over here and join us. Uh, uh, thank you, ma'am, but I'm fine. There's more than plenty. But I didn't chip in. You're our guest. Mom, he's on their side. He's just trying to do his job with a wife and family. Come on, you hungry? Yes, ma'am. I'm always hungry. Second step, you sure. Hey, Dudley. Hi. It's my first hard times party, too. Yeah? Sure. Thank you. Uh, is, is that your chili or fish? No, it's, um... Uh... Oh, Leo, I think because he done be off duty, he can have a beer. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Whoa. If we run low, we just throw in a box of oatmeal to swell it up so we're giving away all our secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on. Sit right over here. Come on. Much obliged, Miss Death. <sighs> Understand your uh, husband's on another trip. Yeah, trying to scare up a few more investors. Mm. We sure spent a lot on this, huh? All we have and then some. <laughs> <laughs> and then some more. Miss <laughs> uh, Fisher, uh, I sat on board checking out all the things he's found so far, and, and I'm here to you tell you. You don't think we're going to find it, do you? Sorry, but I think it's worse than that. I'll give him my chili back. But I, I didn't even have <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. Oh, we haven't found much, but we haven't lost our sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Or our faith. Cheers to that. <laughs> From what you told me about your father, he sounds fascinating. He raised chickens? <laughs> yeah. And then one morning he said he was tired of hearing eggs plopping in the nests. So he opened a dive shop in California. You know, Don told me that your mother held the underwater endurance record. More than 55 hours. Best in the world. Then he heard about this treasure off Florida, piled us in a car, and... <laughs> you know how many times we got lost trying to get here? I couldn't even tell you. You know, everybody's got a dream. But he's doing something about it. Pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's what everybody thinks, Penny. But they're wrong. It's not the gold. It's looking for. Yes, ma'am. Would you tell Mr. Carmody that uh, three o'clock will be just fine with me, and I and I sure do appreciate it. Thirty-seven Eastern Airlines. All right. Thank you very much. Bye bye. 
sorry. I have only a couple of minutes to give you, but uh, have a board meeting. Oh, that's up. all right, Mr. Carmody. I got a meeting myself. I just want to check your lines here to be sure you, uh, you got enough outlets. Yeah. What? Well, we're expecting a call from my divers in Key West at any minute. About the Atosha? Yeah, that's the one, the big one. Oh, the others don't really count. I mean, the Atosha was really the crown jewel of the King of Spain. That's the one we're looking for. And you're expecting to find it just any minute? Yeah, my divers do, and uh, I do too, just as sure as I'm sitting here holding this. You might be amused by this. It's a uh, little gold doubloon. You want to try it on? Huh? Yeah, kind of heavy there. Yeah, it looks... Hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Well, as I mentioned to you on the telephone, all we need is one other old boat. I mean, eventually we'll need a crane, but right now it's just another old boat. I've had some research done, Mr. Fisher. Right after that hurricane, the Spanish attempted to salvage the Atosha, but some Dutch warships showed up and drove them off. Now, uh, how do I know those Dutchmen didn't pick its bones clean? Those Dutchmen didn't find that, did they? Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, it's a nice act, Mr. Fisher. Nice act. Easy going, low key. I reckon at the next stop you'll probably do a fast song and dance, huh? No, no. I actually I don't even know what I'm doing here right now. You're here because I am worth fifty million dollars. Well, that's nice, Mr. Carmody, but uh, the Toshi's got you beat. It's got about uh, three hundred and fifty million more. I happen to know the state has an agent on board your boat. Now wouldn't be too smart of me to invest in something that might be tied up in the courts for years and years, would it? Well, it all depends on your point of view. I mean, some people consider that part of the suspense. You mentioned a uh, boat with a crane. Yeah, eventually. I mean, uh, we're talking about 50 tons of gold and silver. Not to mention the thousands of emeralds down there. You, uh, find any more of these? Sir? I say you find any more of these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got plenty of those. Let's see, I got some in my pocket right here. Saw some around here the other day. I see. Uh, yeah, here's some. Oh, darn, it's clumsy. I'm sorry. I spilled all over your floor there. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Pick these up. Yeah. Is that real gold? Yeah, that's gold, all right. That's it, yeah. And that's real silver? Yeah, that's silver. Piece of eight, mm. yeah. What's that? That's not just a nickel. Oh, oh. So you look over there, I think you might have something over there. Really? What's, uh... Oh, yeah, so it is. Yeah. Another gold piece. Yeah, that's another gold. There you go. Thank you. Well... There's a silver one, too. I'll keep that. It's funny where oh. that came from. It's just a piece of eight. <laughs> the board meeting, Mr. Carmody. Tell them to wait. Historical value. Mm hmm. Museum, yeah. Tax benefit. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time, Mr. Carmody. I sure appreciate you giving me this time. I got a meeting, too. I got to meet some good old boys in Palm Beach, and Dallas, places like that. I can uh, reach you in Key West. Oh yeah, yeah. We uh, we never close. Darn, I almost forgot. My paper. Oh. oh, I don't want to forget that. I mean, there's plenty where that comes from, but thanks again, Mr. Carmen. <laughs> This is Captain Dirk Fisher. Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. It's okay. Just don't uh, start dishing out marriage licenses all through Key West, okay? Well, you 
Sounds up, Pop. Okay, Skipper. Captain Dirk Fisher, hip hip hooray! Yes, yes. Hip hip hooray! See this. Can you believe it? Now Mel's I gotta gonna count those links. Hey, hey, wait a minute, Dudley. Not till Mel and Dio get back from the hearing. Let me see that. That is the torture, all right. Well, how can you tell, Mel? Look, every link the same size. Take off a link, use it for money. Somebody was wearing it the night the storm hit. Wind howling, waves crashing over the deck. And this person in the water. Trying to swim. You people give me the creeps. It is only the truth. Rich somebody thinking they're important could own gold. But I see you took it away. And now we took it back. But this won't be the end of it. Fisher, you say you invented this so-called mailbox to speed up your search for treasure. Do you have a patent for this invention? No, sir. I, uh, I'm not in the manufacturing business, and I, I just never got around to getting a patent. So. With the result that other treasure hunters have copied your device, and our ocean floor now looks like a battlefield. Oh, no, sir. Uh, the tides and the currents uh, smoothed it out pretty good. Mr. Fisher, you... You must be aware of the archaeological value of the Atocha. Oh, yes, sir. I, I have great respect for the uh, historic value of the Atocha. Doesn't look like it to me. You see, this wreck, as well as others, is a priceless heritage belonging to the field of archaeology. Now, let's not make too fine a point of this. You are a treasure hunter, out for profit. May I remind you what happened to the San Jose? Oh, sir, no, I have never, nor would I ever, use dynamite. I mean, that's strictly for amateurs. That's what you say now. But the fact is, you are gouging craters out there. Bigger boats, newer devices. In your lust for gold, you've mounted a full-scale attack on our heritage. It's not yours, Mr. Fisher. It belongs to the people of Florida. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, I... I respect our heritage and our environment and, and the people. I mean, uh, a lot of folks have been looking for the Tosha for 350 years, including some of our finest scientists, and I, I respect all of them. And I sympathize with them for giving up because it's a damn hard and, and dangerous job. Now, uh, a lot of folks will just call us a bunch of raggedy, uh, just a bunch of raggedy dreamers. And they'll say that the Tosha isn't out there and that it's just some kind of ghost ship. Well, we don't, we don't believe in ghosts. We believe in the Tosha. My wife and our, our, our kids and the kids who work with us, we believe she's out there. And we don't care what you call us. You can call us anything you want because in America, I grew up thinking dreaming was okay. I mean. That's what makes America special, different. I mean, that's really what America is when you think about it. It's kind of a dream that's grown up, realized, fulfilled. 
I think everybody in our country should have that right to go for that dream. I mean, all they have to do is, uh, is believe in it and go for it. And that's a right that is for the people. Gentlemen, uh, we don't want to fight you. And we don't want to fight the state of Florida. And we don't want to fight the government. We don't want to fight anybody. All we want is the right to go for that dream. And if that's taken away from us, well, we think that's unconstitutional and unfair. If, if, if you take that away from us, we're in deep water. We've lost a lot of years and a lot of folks' money. And America will have lost. Something she's had since 1776. America will lost more. More than us. Come on, dear. We're not finished. Neither are we. find the mother load because I know the Atosha is down there. I, I just know it. I know it. The 1622 hurricane came from a southeast direction along this line, right? Right. And we'd uncovered every inch along that trail. Yep. Yep, we found the, the blow here. 
Necklace here, shards here, timber here, and the silver. 25 feet down. 5 to 10 feet of sand and then and solid mud. Gold. The weight of it. Over three centuries, working its way down through the sand and to that mud, then all the way through that to bedrock. Yep. Gold had centuries. I don't have that much time. Those today's the day t-shirts are really starting to break my heart. Well, if we didn't wear them, it'd break his heart. You know he's in there making peanut butter sandwiches again, pretending they're ham and cheese? You guys know how long ago I left college? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Could have had my master's degree by now. Well, you don't appreciate what I thought you. Such a wise guy. Hey, hold on, that's enough, that's enough. Sleep with me, kid, you'll get your master's in shipwreck. <laughs> yeah. You know this trail's drying out, right? I mean, we haven't found anything for weeks. I think the Tocha just doesn't want to be found. Maybe Moe's right. Got some kind of curse on it. Dio, I think the crew wants to quit. Even Moe and Don. What they say? They say something? No, I just have a feeling. I can't blame them. I mean, they've been living off of fresh fish and stale dreams for so long. I can't expect them to give up the best years of their life for my crazy, hair-brained idea. It is not. There's gold down there, and you're going to find it. You and I are going to be on deck in our wheelchairs looking at our grandchildren die for it. What's the with you? I've never seen you like this. The trouble with me is I just never grew up. This childlike dream of buried treasure. I was saying the other day, maybe, you um, calling a family meeting and uh, putting it up to a democratic vote. What do you think? No, no, no. If we'd have wanted a democracy, we wouldn't have had so many kids. Who do you think you're having dinner here with, Mel Fisher? This is the same girl who broke the underwater endurance record. I'd still be down there if I hadn't gotten pregnant with Taffy. Nobody's gonna make me quit again. Especially not you. Okay? Okay, we'll give it 100 days. If we don't hit it by then, we'll pay everybody off and go climb Mount Everest. Is that a deal? You got a deal. One little bit. Here, I'm treating it the way the government is treating our contract. You're not giving us back our 75%. Now, Dio, I wouldn't do this if I were you. Luther! Luther, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're taking everything we've ever found. Listen, I got one question. What's that? Why me? Why you? Because you're young and cheap. <clears throat> uh, I hope. I mean, those other lawyers are going to charge me 20000 up front just to research this project and this new twist. You wouldn't charge me that, would you? Well, no, I wouldn't, but I do like to get paid. Well, no, no, Well, I understand your other attorneys had to. Well, they got a little tired of gambling on me. You know, it takes nerve to stay in this business. Well, I can believe that. So, how much? Um, 15 hour? 15 hour is a deal. We started at, uh, 2.30, so, uh, clock is running. And counting. <sighs> Jimmy, another round. Uh, no, thanks, not for me. I, I gotta understand what it is you're talking about. So? So, uh... If I wanted to die for the Atosha, I had to make a deal with the state. If I wanted to get a license, or if I wanted to keep some of what I got, I had to agree that the Florida territory extended all the way to Spain. Come on, you're diving outside the three-mile limit. I mean, even that's a joke. Uh, a law based on how far a short gun can fire a cannonball in 1587. Is that right? Yes, sir. Wait a minute. 
Admiralty law also makes it possible for the federal courts to take jurisdiction over a shipwreck. Jurisdiction? You mean they can take it out of the state? Yeah. Now, the only problem is there has to be absolutely no question that the shipwreck is the Atosha. Now, if you can do that, I have an idea where we might put the blocks to them. Dave? Oh, tell you what, I've only got a five. I'll give you the rest of the chair, okay? Shares? Yeah, put you on the board. When we hit it, you'll be a rich man. I like the way you talk. Yeah, you do? Well, you talk pretty good yourself, you know? state's jurisdiction to get you your day in court. Well, that's what I want. It's another day in court. But what I'm worried about is if we ace Florida out, we bring the federal government in. I told you, it scared me. They're coming in early today. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Permission granted, Mr. Banks. No luck again, I see. We'll hit it someday. Well, that's your dad's favorite saying, is it? Today is the day. Yeah. Like, uh, spring house cleaning. Getting pretty rank, sir. I swear, Hudley, you're beginning to look like these people. Thank you, sir. Very unsanitary. You hit it. You hit it! And you thought you'd hide it. No, that's just to keep it from rusting. OK, a couple of you guys get a truck. We'll get this on the road to Tallahassee. All right, come on. Right this way, fellas. Excuse me, people. Excuse me. Oh, Dio, sweetheart, I want you to see this. Come here. All right, go get him, Tiger. This is Mr. Drummond, a federal marshal. What is this? Admiral's law, Mr. Banks. As part of the Atosha, that cannon's the same as the whole ship itself. You're looking at a warrant. That cannon is the property of the state of Florida. No, no, it's the property of the finder and is under protective custody of the federal courts pending my client's charges against the Atosha, commanded by Admiral Pedro de Esparza. The captain of the Atosha? He's been dead for 350 years. That's his problem. <laughs> Do your duty, Marshal. You are going to arrest a cannon? I guess I have to. Unless you want 50 witnesses watch you defy court order. 
warrant for arrest in Rem, the President of the United States of America, to the Marshal of the United States for the Southern District of Florida, greeting. Whereas on the 18th day, can I just uh, say this? You want the whole nine yards? Cannon. In the name of the United States government, I hereby arrest you in the matter of Fisher versus Nuestro Sonora de Atosha. Yeah. Yeah. All right, now. <laughs> Understand. I still got my job with the state, seniority and all, and they'll just reassign me, but talked it over with the wife. And I want to go to work for you. For good? For better or worse. Now, I know it might take more years to hit it, and God knows I know how you pay. But I guess I got me like y'all. Well, I guess it's mutual. Welcome to poverty. I hope you like chili and peanut butter, Hudley. Thanks, Mel, but let's just keep it at Dudley. All right, Dudley. Now you're on our side of the law. Sooner or later, man, Cole will get you. Be okay, thanks, Bo. You sure you know what you're doing out of it? Oh, I'm sure, Bill. Well, excuse me. We found six cannons already, but uh, the trail's gotten a little dry lately. Yeah, but don't have to find all the canyons. You know, I don't understand. There were 20 solid bronze, 300-pound cannons. They should have gone pretty much straight down. Now, you'd think that 50 tons of gold and silver would have done the same thing when shipped. Yeah, there's something funny about the way that ship went. Yeah, the soldiers, where's their armor and helmets? Where'd they all go? Down in the dock with the gold. What did you think of those two sharks you said? Those weren't sharks, those were jellyfish. No, of course they were, they were big jellyfish. I won't understand if I live to be a hunter. What is that, Dudley? How you people get so much done being so disorganized? Dudley, <laughs> organization is boring. Oh, will you look at you? Will you look at you? <laughs> hey, some sex. Oh. You like it? Mm. Well, I'll tell you something, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mm. Yo, Don, get with it, you're late. Oh, look at this. I just wanted to take one more dive. Look what I found. Whatever it is. It's gold. It's a gold knife. A whistle. A whistle? A boson's whistle. You done found it? Boson's whistle I ever heard. Maybe. Maybe the Atocha. Blow it again. Hap 
Happy birthday, Angels! Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thank you. I love you. I love you, darling. Mm -hmm. I think you're running out of oxygen, but I love well, you. Well, uh, Mr. Barrister, would you pass that around? Does anybody here realize that life is great? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you having any fun? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, floor show's over. Honey, have we got a surprise for you? What? Fried chicken. Oh, yeah. 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 A box. That's a box. <laughs> There's nothing in it. Now, I'm gonna find a pizza. Out. So I'm gonna find out what it is just right now. Pizza. Oh, oh no. All right. and howling, and he was blowing as loud as he could, trying to warn them, but he couldn't hear. Well, there's nothing I could have done about it. Give me the chills when you blew it. No, no, Mel, for the museum. People will love it. That's nice, Tom. Well, Taffy will stay with me and uh, Dio. See that everybody gets on the right place. Yeah. Dirk, he wants to head out tonight, deep into the side in the morning. Virgil on is getting old. I got an anchor close to shore. Suit yourself. Well. Good night. Good night. Good only. Tomorrow's the day. <laughs> Good night, Mo. Well, I'll head out with Dirk.
don't know. I just, uh, I just went out. The weight shifted, and, and, and it went over like that. Who else? Who else? I don't know. I guess everybody left. We got to get up! We got to get up! Got no gear, no lights. You go back down in there now. It'll be pitch black. You have to swim down. Listening. You have to swim down to go up. And up to go down, you'll never find him. It's gonna be all right. Man, we're gonna sink too. Hang on. Can you hear me? No! Go down there. Oh, man, what the hell? No! No, we'll pick us up. We're gonna be all right. A light! There's a light! Oh, Is that you? No! Turk. Angel. Rick. It's going. It's going. Hey, you two, you watch out for him, you hear me? Say what happened? Charles went down, girl. And if we knew what happened, would it bring them back?
Thought they were. Probably thought they were just dreaming. Oh, they were just babies. been out in a long time. I told you I'm not going diving. I'm never gonna dive again. Mon can quit and say I won't pay the price. But you old friend have paid. Much too much. Now it owes you. to a federal border to open up a can of worms. Hey, Dave, you won. And the state appealed. Man, you won again. Gentlemen, in Florida's mind, I'm a shyster and Mel's a pirate. I've convinced federal courts to take away treasure the state feels is theirs. Now, Florida does not like this. In fact, they hate it. They hate it so much, they are taking Mel to the end of the line, to the highest court in our land. And would you like to know how many times the Supreme Court has ruled against state governments? 
Not really. I think we need another round. After a tragedy like this, they still keep hounding the man. He and Dio damn near give up. The law never does. Yeah, it could take years to reach a decision, right? Well, maybe not. The longer the laws are vague, the stickier it gets. I don't want to close this one. Dave, when you were in school, did you think you'd be arguing a case before the Supreme Court? Oh, yeah, but in my daydreams, I always imagined a case I couldn't lose. Cooper Libra? Well, I'll sit with you. How's it going? Not bad. No news yet, huh? No, no, those judges are still trying to make up their mind. Yeah, well. I'll say this, old Dave gave it his best shot, though. He stood right up there and gave him that whole constitutional bit. Mail. I hope you don't think I'm out of line, but, but everybody in town can see it. See what? Well, ever since the North Wind went down, you've just been kind of faking it, just going through the motions, sending us out every day to dive, not even bothering to go out with us. You guys don't need me, you know that. More than ever now. Why? What's happening isn't about treasure hunting anymore. Mel, the little guys who say, you think I'm crazy, but I can do it. I can have a dream, and I can go for it, and maybe hit the jackpot. When I do, Big Brother isn't there to take it away. Mel, it's for us, for me, and all the other people who believe. what we call our jam section. It's two pieces of white bread jammed together. Kind of a jam session, huh? <laughs> uh, spare no expense. Huh? Oh, no, no, honey, we spend no expense. You need to spread no expense. <laughs> Over here is the chili department, your little baby cooking our chili, famous all the way down Duval Street. Terrific, terrific. Mel, I'm amazed you've never been to one of these. I am, too. I keep busting my hump trying to raise money, and they keep having catered affairs, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Is there anything yet? No. Nope. No. Nope. Supreme Court takes its supreme time, I guess. Mel, maybe no news is good news. Huh? You know? No, babe. No news is... No news. I'm worried. Don't be. You've won in court over a hundred times. I wonder. Do chicken farmers have to go to the Supreme Court? Ever? Remember in ancient times, when he brought bad news, they used to kill a messenger? Hey, you're not gonna have to kill me. We won! <laughs> our dream. We won. <laughs>
wish Dirk and Angel weren't here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Grave as the perils of the sea are and were, the gravest peril came not from the sea, but from two unlikely sources, agents of two governments. Public policy does not tolerate trampling on the basic constitutional rights of its citizens. Nice and dry. Have you seen Mel? Nobody's seen him. I didn't see him half hour ago. Thought he'd be here by now. He didn't say where he was going. Come to Tika Vidyas. Something about sailing to Tahiti. <laughs> Keep smiling for Dio. I don't know what he knows. All of a sudden, he left me. Said he'd meet me here. Didn't he smile? He smiled like I'd never seen before threw both his hands up in the wind and the rain and said, isn't this beautiful weather? Is the Atosha. Okay, I'm the hurricane, giant hurricane. Believe this. Blowing the Atosha right. right all the way, right now. The skipper is no fool, right? right. He's not going to turn around and go back to Havana. No. Why? He'll broadside, right? right. So he keeps on going, right? right. right. Running up front as a storm. Oh, only smart way to go, man. Yeah, right. What about the reefs? The reefs. The reefs are just waiting for him. The reefs are better. just waiting for him. That's right. They should have right. known better than that. That's right. Known what? Known, known it was a hurricane, not a little storm, honey, not like we got out here, a major hurricane. Yeah, but this captain's not a swap jockey, this guy's an admiral. No matter, the man sank, the ship sank on the rocks, and we found the doubloon. The doubloon? We find the doubloon right here. Right, right, the right. This was right there. That's right. Okay, the bosun and the bosun's here. Dirk's cannon right here. Cannon right okay. there. Okay. Right. right. Yeah, everything along the Northwest Trail, Exactly where we've been looking. Exactly. You've been right. right all along. Exactly. Now, the Spanish knew where it was. They came back to salvage it. Nothing there, right? Oh. Piles. Nothing. Yeah, well, where did it go, Mel? That's the question. This afternoon, I'm, I'm sitting in the chart house. It suddenly occurred to me. We hadn't checked the weather. It could have been and should have been and probably was another hurricane. Hurricane came along, knocked the bottom part of the ship off. It went all the way down there. Down there. Well, darling, yeah. we searched every inch of that place. Yeah, Mel, we've no, no, sweetheart, not far enough. 
If it's another half mile down, I'm talking about silver and gold and emeralds. You name it, it's Mel, all down there. Just... Mel, Mel. Tons of gold leapfrogging all that way? You said yourself that the sea has mysterious ways, right? It could have leapfrogged down there. It's only a half a mile down there. One more time, okay? We can't quit now. Not now. Well, you're a very lucky man. Because if we quit now, we gotta get real jobs. <laughs> today is, don't you? There's not a day I don't think of Dirk and Angel. You know, we all do. And we owe it to them to keep on going. I know it's naive and I know it's impractical. I've never been accused of being practical, but I don't want to lose what we've had ever. Ever. I don't want to lose that deal. I mean, there are people that don't have that. They're rich people. They don't have that. And I want to take that, that old galleon and turn it into a permanent museum. I mean, I want people to come from all around the world and see this and, and feel history and touch it. I mean, we're talking six years. Six years after Shakespeare died. We've come a long way from Indiana, Mel. Long time ago. I learned a little bit about diving, too, didn't I? And about inventing things. <laughs> and going broke. And help. What is it? What? Mom? What's wrong? Dad? Yeah, what is it? We've been looking all over for you. Just come with us. It's OK, Mom. Please? Please. What's, what's, what's going on here, huh? <laughs>
July 20th, 1985, after 16 years of searching, Mel Fisher found the Atosha's mother mode. The treasure, considered to be one of history's greatest marine archaeological discoveries, is valued at over $400 million. It now belongs to Mel Fisher and to those who believed in his dream.